On the afternoon of Friday, November 11th, veterans and their guests were invited to attend a Veterans Day luncheon at the Orient Center. Attendees received a welcome bag and enjoyed a nice meal courtesy of Italia Gardens. There was entertainment and sponsors offered raffle prizes. Huge thank you to all of our sponsors. Um, four of them are here today, Lord's Senior Living, Seniors Helping Seniors, Pomeroy Living in Orion, and United Healthcare. So, and then uh, we had multiple donate as well. So Allison, L Edible Art, Tim Hortons, Italia Gardens, Hospice Care of Michigan um, were our main ones, so. And it's just a big thank you to, to their service, the family members who support them. Uh, it's just a, a good day to celebrate Veterans Day and their service. So. The first Veterans Day lunch took place in 2019, but when the pandemic hit in 2020, box lunches were offered to go. Things returned to normal in 2021, and this year, 20 veterans and their guests attended the luncheon. I mean, this was something I started when I started here um, back in 2018, and it was just something that I felt like we were missing. We have a, a lot of veterans here at the Orient Center, and um, it, it's more of an intimate feel. They're not going to a restaurant. They get to sit down, be with other members of the Orient Center, and most of them are friends already, so it's just something really comfortable for them. They don't have to get out of their shell and go out somewhere where they might not feel comfortable. So it means a lot to me to be able to put this on. I enjoy it every year. and. Everyone's so thankful, and um, it's just a great event. Coming up on the Parks and Rec calendar is the Indoor Community Garage Sale on Friday, November 18th, the Made in the Mitten Pop-Up Market on Thursday, December 8th, the always popular Breakfast with the Grinch event on Saturday, December 10th, and the Snow Dash 5K scheduled for Sunday, December 18th at 9 a.m. For more information, visit orionparks.com. From the Orient Center, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.